Hi, it's John. Just coming into Yetminster. And I've just stopped by the sign. Looking across this field, I noticed a lot of rabbits. Um, we get wild rabbits in the UK, but uh, during the 19... 50s or 60s, they put down a lot of <laughs> uh, myxomatosis disease, and that's still it with them. And they and they um, they sort of go through sort of waves of dying and then come back to life again. Not coming back to life, but the colonies pick up again. Sometimes I get given wild rabbits. Um, I don't enjoy them as much as chicken. They smell quite a lot when you've got in them. But they're lovely little things, aren't they? Really, rabbits. Nice, uh, nice area here. I'm just walking down through the village. It's quite difficult to define, you know, what the character of a village is. Um, but I know there's a nice bit down here. And that's what you want to pick out, isn't it? The nice bits. Um, no point making them seem look sort of um, horrible. I mean, you come into the village from the west, and there's a lot of uh, bungalows. That's for retired people, but they don't have to have stairs. And then you come down, and these old cottages. Uh, I think that's about it, actually. Walk back up again now. It's quite an elaborate thatched cottage. I bet that's got some age to it, and. Um, Topery, they call this hedge. Well, you know, when you... Oh, it is box. It's box. Box along the front here, and then that's you up there. The smashing place. You've got a name. Postman wouldn't be very happy about that, especially a relief postman. Wouldn't know where to put the letters. Obviously, someone who's very keen on plants because they've got some smashing plants there. Smashing is my word today. I'm actually at the other end of Yetminster now, and there's the pub down there. It's a White Hart, and Yetminster appears to be quite a lot bigger than Rhine, Rhine Intrinsica. Um, it's all very tidy, and over here is um, a school, an old school. It's uh, Boyle's School, 1711 to 1945. Endowed by Robert Boyle, who lived a lot earlier. Uh, 1627 to 1691 for 20 poor boys of Yetminster, Lye or Lee and Chetnall. It's now a hair dressing salon I think. Um, there was a time when a lot of Old places in English villages were sort of um, fairly derelict, but not, not anymore. I mean, they're so well done up now, you don't know which is the old and which is the new in some cases. And what happens is the new 
is made in the style of the old. So this here says it's the old smithy, but it uh, doesn't look very old at all. And this place over here says it's called the Saddlers, but it's all got double glazing. I should imagine that's um, reasonably new, but built in the old style. Makes it all very nice. Even the um, health centre has been made in good taste to fit in with the other architecture. Church and the church hall. This is the old vicarage. It's huge. I thought it was a merchant's house. But in a way that I think the vicar was like a merchant. Because did he receive all the tithes from the parish? So, you know, had a lot of money coming in. And then Like Mrs. Thatcher said, then you get the trickle-down effect. You know, the rich got all their money, and then uh, they employ people, and everybody benefits. Now this I can see is several cottages made into one. date on there. Oh no, we haven't got a hydrant. Okay. Benjamin Jesty. Farmer and pioneer vaccinate against smallpox. Ah, I lived opposite. A useful chap. Oh, my word. And that is an old cottage. It's got bits of stonework from other places on it. That's incredible. Looks like they're going, it's not quite gentrified up. There's a barn there that's been completely rebuilt. Presumably they'll be turning that into something. Work to be done, but lovely place. Yes, as I say, the Yetminster is quite a lot bigger than Rhyme Intrinsica, although they're only about a mile apart. Um, in my little head, Rhyme should be bigger because it's a bigger name, grander name. Greystones. That looks like the end of the village up there. Yes, yeah, so I've come right down to the bottom of the village, and this is down by the railway. And there's a sequence of footpaths which could be explored. And there's a footbridge underneath the railway. Some various bits of. Oh, this is a mill stream. Oh, there's a building the mill there or something perhaps it's all nice and cool and dank down here and so got 
the railway and there's a little river. Oh, what was that? Something, something fell in or something. Yes, the water's coming from the opposite direction to what I thought, so... Um, yeah, that could be the mill, and the mill stream is up the mill entrance to the mill wheel is up the other way. Oh, that's a... There's a railway all barred off. Well, she should be. And this red brick building, I think, must have been something to do with the railway. Um, no, what, level crossing gate man or something like that, I don't know. Right, well, I'm back. Back to the tower. Right, bye for now.